everybody, Tim here for today's episode of Bad Batch and Company, which is just what I want to start calling this uh, series. Uh, season 1, Episode 6, Decommissioned. So, I mean, that, that is a joke, but literally every episode has to have some connection to the Clone Wars, to the original trilogy, to something. I don't think, out of those six episodes, there has been a single standalone episode yet. So, I mean, that is kind of poking fun at it, but realistically, it's also true. So, this episode had a lot of high points, a lot of low points, and a lot of things kind of turned around. So, for example, a low point was that, for me, was the very beginning, which is watching Omega target practice. I felt like that scene went on forever. Now, granted, it, it did work because you get to the end, and now she's really good, so it was kind of foreshadow. And I did love when Sid stepped in, and she's like, you're doing this wrong, this wrong, this wrong, line you up, click, 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 target practice is over, let's go. I was like, that's bitchin'. Like, I, I really like Sid. I think she's a great character. So, like I said, this episode is chock full of cameos. The whole point is that they are supposed to go to Corellia and basically steal a decommissioned tactical droid. Now, that sentence alone, holy fuck. So the tactical droids, of course, were part of the Empire. They're the droids that, like, process like what the enemy is doing and kind of use it against them. There was a famous one in the Clone Wars, like he was always on the bridge. Uh, Corellia is a shout out, that's where Han Solo comes from. When they get there to find the tra tactical droid, they run into uh, Rafa and Trace. Now those are reasonably new characters, basically like the Bad Batch. They debuted when season seven, the final season of Clone Wars came out. Now, unlike the Bad Batch, a lot of people had already seen them because they were in, like, the unreleased footage. So you could see, like, the really kind of, like, almost drawings. Like, it was really just bad, where they just kind of moved. Uh, whereas the, the Rafa and Trace were brand new characters. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. So probably my favorite line so far, possibly even in Star Wars, is when they're all sitting around talking and they're like, we need a diversion. We need a diversion. Is there an echo? Yeah, I'm right here. Wait, what? Like, like the whole, oh my god, it was so great. I was, I was rolling laughing. So I love that. Uh, one of the things I actually didn't like, it didn't work for me, was the mysterious message at the end. Unless I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. It's gonna be Ahsoka. That, that's it. We're done. So, I mean, when Rebels came out in the first season and the Fulcrum thing, that caught me off guard. Like, they actually did a really good job of kind of teasing that, too. Because you could see, like, Ahsoka's, like, symbol on the boxes. Didn't catch it. Totally missed it. The big reveal was great. I loved it. The fact, like, this mysterious message at the end, and it's somebody just off kilter, and she's like, we found some, some rogue clones that you might be interested in. Like, seriously, the last time we saw Ahsoka, like, not only did she help these two characters specifically, but then she escaped with the clones, like, with Rex and stuff. So I was like, that's, that's just, just fucking show Ahsoka. It would have been more of a shock for me if they had just shown her right there, rather than, like, this little, like, silhouette hologram thing that we'll see later on. Like, that, it, it ruined that for me. So, unless I'm wrong, if, like, who knows, a week, two weeks... I don't even know how long season one is. Like a month from now, if it ends up being someone else and I'm wrong, I'm so happy. Like, I will not be happier to be wrong. So I'm curious what other people think of this episode of the series so far. We're a half dozen episodes into it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next week.